But what does this mean or what is the relationship between this, this idea and collision theory? Well, here's a little graphic and um, you'll see quite a number of these. In fact, this is a great tool for us to analyze systems in equilibrium because when we look at this in terms of the um, time, the, so the reaction proceeding, we can see what's going on here. So initially we have uh, no ammonia in this case. We have one mole per litre of nitrogen and three moles per litre of hydrogen. If we were to write this uh, process down, hydrogen gas plus nitrogen gas, and this time it's an equilibrium, so I'm going to use the double headed arrow to ammonia, which is also a gas. Uh, I need to balance this, so a two there and a three there will balance it. So therefore, if I start with, uh, if I look at my mole ratio of three to one to two, then what I should have in a completion reaction is the three moles of hydrogen and the one mole of nitrogen should all be used up and I should end up with two moles of uh, ammonia. The two moles is here. Okay, so this should be here, but it isn't. And that's telling us that this is an equilibrium, not a completion. Because at some point in uh, initially we have a high um, ratio of reactants. Therefore, we have uh, an, a high rate of collision. And therefore, um, presumably, we also have a reasonably high rate of uh, particles whose energy is greater than the energy of activation and therefore they will react. But as they react, their concentration drops and we start to increase in the number of um, ammonia molecules. And because two ammonia molecules running into each other will actually reform the hydrogen and nitrogen, this will start to occur. So we will, we will start with only the forward reaction occurring but as the concentration of the um, NH3 uh, starts to increase, then we will start to have the reverse reaction starting to occur as well until it reaches a point where these lines are horizontal. And of course, horizontal lines are an indicator of equilibrium. So you can find the point where the equilibrium is first established by finding the point where as the reaction rates get slower and slower, eventually they will reach a point where they are at a consistent rate um, and uh, there's no more change in the macroscopic properties of the system. This is how we we use our understanding of collision theory of particles bouncing into each other, um, creating chemical reactions uh, and the fact that this occurs not just between the particles of the reactants but also the particles of the products until the rate of both the forward and reverse reactions are identical and then we have equilibrium. Notice also from this diagram that equilibrium does not mean equal amounts of the hydrogen, the nitrogen or the ammonia. All we have is a horizontal line representing that the rates are the same and therefore there's no further change in the uh, concentration of each of these species.